Hello guys, welcome back to another video and I'm so glad that you decided to go ahead and watch this one too. Um, and I know I'm in the same outfit because this is the same day, just um, a later time. And actually I'm losing sunlight so I'm gonna be very quick. But I wanted to share with you guys all of our fall library books. So we went to the library and of course I went crazy because that's what I do when I'm around books. I just go crazy. So I'm gonna share with you guys right from this basket. And this is just a little old basket that actually my sister left at my house a long time ago. And so I kind of just adopted it. And um, so yeah, so this is our library basket so we don't lose any of our library books. And I'm just gonna share with you guys what we picked up. Of course, I have not read if I read any, I probably probably read one because I just we just hauled all these books home with us, and we're so happy to be able to borrow them. The library is such a great resource, especially during seasonal times when you want to change up your reading material, but you don't want to buy twenty new books. So definitely look out and go visit your local library. Well, a lot of people don't like the library because some of the books are a little bit rough and loved very well but I do try to look for the new the newer the clean looking book but anyway I do spray down my books make sure to be safe a lot of people are browsing and kids pass germs like crazy so anyway let's go uh, let's get right into it and I'm gonna just briefly show you guys all the titles that we picked up um the first book that we got was pocahontas and in november our person of the month is going to be pocahontas so i did pick up this pocahontas um biography by shannon zimalika zimalika and um i was just looking through it and i liked the illustrations it looks like it was really a kid friendly um, biography lots of colors and then in the back of the book I always look for those historic type photos so this one is a historic depiction of her and it's a drawing drawing and I've seen this on a lot of history Pocahontas history books so we got that one and then we picked up how big could your pumpkin grow by Wendell Minor and it says pumpkins are growing larger every year how enormous might they grow? Use your imagination, think big. Just to show you some of the illustrations. So look at how big that pumpkin is. It's bigger than the, I don't know what that building is, the Capitol Dome, the Capitol Dome. And then this one is bigger than Mount Rushmore. And so this is going to be a really cute book to read. And so I'll ask her, how big is her pumpkin going to grow? And then another one that I picked up, but I, I'm actually going to order this for myself because I like the story. This is one that we read um, is Lawrence in the Fall. And this is just a really cute, I think had, this book has classic quality. I love the feel of the pages. It's very similar to that Scarecrow book that I showed in my last video. And so this is about a little fox who is looking for the leaves. And then he finds, he's looking for something to show, to, um, to share at Show and Tell and he didn't have anything. So his dad took him into the woods and he found the leaves. And then at the end of the book, he's going to share them with all his class and it's going to be a big hit so that's going to be a really good one and then i got um once i knew a spider and the only reason i really got this one was because fits in the fall colors for my shelf display or a basket display as well as it talks about bugs and right now we're doing a major bug unit for this whole semester so and that's why i got this one and it's by Jennifer Owen Dewey. The next one is Thanksgiving Day Thanks by Laura Malone Elliott. And 
Okay. And then we have Pumpkin Time, written by um, Ezra. Ezra. Deke, Arizi Deke. I don't know. There you go. That's the name. And I did read this one too. We yeah, have read this one too. And um, it's just talking about a little girl who's busy throughout the all of the fall, as she's harvesting, harvesting, harvesting to make a delicious treat at the end of the story. And the whole story, the whole time, it says, um, "What was Evie doing?" And then it shows what Evie's doing so the ch children can look and find and figure out what Evie's doing throughout the story. This is called Sweet, and I'm not gonna butcher their names. <clears throat> so there it is for you. This one is about a little boy that was having a bad day and he allowed his bad mood, mood to take over the entire town um, because he had to, to rake leaves and he didn't want to rate the lead. The next one is the very first Thanksgiving, get Thanksgiving day. And I wanted to read this just to see how it compares to um, other historical type um, Thanksgiving stories and to see another perspective. And, and this one has really pretty illustrations too. And it's about the people coming over from the Mayflower and all that good stuff. This one is, thank you, Sarah. And this is about the woman who saved Thanksgiving. And I thought that was a, a really interesting story to go ahead and throw in and tell the children about how she advocated for Thanksgiving to become a national holiday, recognized everywhere. And then I picked up Apples, new and updated by Gail Gibbons. And the reason I picked this one up, of course, is to go along with our Apple unit that we're gonna be doing for this fall. And I do briefly talk about our Apple unit in the last video. And so this one was on a lot of book lists related to teaching about fall topics. And that is why I was like, oh, let's see what that's all about. And we're gonna actually do a Apple tasting um a apple tasting experiment or activity during our apple unit where i'm going to give her all the different types of apples <clears throat> well a couple different types of apples and then let her try them out and see which one she likes the most and why and then i picked up pies from nowhere how georgia gilmore sustained the montgomery boy bus cat with selling her pies and the reason why um, I picked this one up was basically because of the food. And when you eat a lot of like different pies and stuff during Thanksgiving and Christmas. And of course, it's telling some historical truths and some information that, of course, is always good to throw in and learn about. And then we got Free Fall. And this one is very interesting because this is a book without words. And... It is written by David Wesner, Wesner, and it's just pictures. So your child can make up their own story. No words at all. It's like a little boy, he's dreaming. And so your child can go through and actually tell the story. So what I'm probably gonna do is first, I'm going to look through it and try to make up my own story and I'll tell her my story and then afterwards I will let her make up her own story and tell me and her sister her story. And that's my older, my five-year-old I'm referring to. So yeah, the illustrations are very beautiful. Reminds me of Polar Express. It's probably the same illustrator. <laughs> but that's gonna be good. And then last but not least, I picked up too Many Pumpkins by Linda White. And I'll show you very quickly. What's in there? The light is starting to shift. So yeah, this is about 
too many pumpkins in this little lady. She's a, she's a pumpkin addict at this point, so she didn't know what to do with all the pumpkins, so she started to create good, um, good delicious treats with them. And then I guess I'm gonna have to read it to find out what happens. So that is all of the books that I got at our library this year for the fall season. I think that is gonna do me really good. I should not have to go back and pick up any more. But if I do, I'll probably put them over on my Instagram. And I do um, invite you guys to go over there and like my Instagram. It is Living With Shay. Uh, just Living With Shay. And um, over there I do share some day everyday type pictures and tips and things like that. So feel free to follow me over there. I hope that my library book picks gave you some guys some ideas of what you could find at your own local library. Let me know down below in the comments if you did pick up or if you own any of these books, if they're any good and um, should we pick them up and add them to our collection. And um, until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.